Hello, it's great to have you here today. I'm working in my tiny watercolor sketchbook. It's about three and a half by five and a half inches, and I'll be using acrylic gouache to do a painting. So I have been struggling a bit with inspiration. I have been stuck inside this most of the winter, and I decided to go on a little trip since spring has is just around the corner. And I went and visited one of my favorite places. I used to live there. Uh, the DC area. They have a ton of museums, so I decided to take a train and go visit a couple of them for a quick trip by myself. One of the artists that really made an impression on me on this trip was Alma Thomas. I saw quite a bit of her artwork in the American Museum of Art, as well as the National Museum for women in the arts, which ended up being my favorite museum by far. Alma Thomas moved to the DC area when she was a teenager. She attended Howard University and she became a teacher. And it was after she retired, she, she taught for over 30 years, that she found her signature style as an abstract artist. I'll go ahead and share some links about her and links to works of her art down below. But what I love about her paintings are that they are so simple and bold, but they're full of life and color, and there's a lot of meaning behind them. I also think that they are perfect to inspire a sketchbook page for when you don't have a lot of time, because these marks can be made fairly quickly and they're not complicated at all. They aren't these elaborate shapes and it doesn't require a lot of shading and you can interpret it in so many different ways and add your signature style to them. So you can see here I'm using my favorite colors and of course I need white as always to lighten and brighten some parts up. But this particular page is inspired by her work titled Launchpad and mine doesn't quite have the same meaning. I will link uh, a description of her painting down below. I wanted to play around with my favorite colors and the division of colors with that triangular line there in pencil down below. I also did not have a lot of time and you will see that my hand is shaky again um, because I hadn't eaten very much in the morning. I'm going to have to start recording these sketchbook pages a little bit later when I don't have so much shake to my hand. But here I am adding color on both sides, this mauvey, dusty, muddy color. I don't know why I like it so much, but to each his own, correct? And I like to lighten it up with a pretty pink. And I have a vibrant pop of blue you'll see coming up in the middle. Um, this also does remind me of a sketchbook page I did a little while ago with Tombow water-based markers. It's simple in that they were just lines as well, but it's executed a little differently. So I thought it was neat to do the same type of page, the same type of feeling. They look so different in the end. I do this page twice with a different set of shapes on the second page and I like them both but I think I do like the second page better probably because my hand was more warmed up um, and I like the circular shape I do in the second one so stay tuned and you'll see that at the end of the video. If you don't have acrylic gouache, but you have watercolor, I've made these types of marks with watercolor as well. 
and they're really neat it's very different but you can get the colors to blend in different ways which is a lot of fun too So I'm curious, how are you all feeling inspirationally? Um, I know that at certain times of the year, mine kind of dries up a little bit, even though at other times of the year, I have so much inspiration, I don't know what to do with all of it. And I'm curious, what do you do to inspire yourself again? Or you just do you just take a break and let yourself rest? I think I do a combination of both. But I think along with my lack of inspiration right now, I just felt a little cooped up and I really needed to go and see different things and do different things and get out of my regular routine. Another thing that helped me, and this is probably why I have way too many art materials in my house, is that I tried another medium that I was just, I've been itching to try it for a really long time. I picked up some pastels while I was in DC. I looked at oil pastels and I've been playing with those in my sketchbook as well. I might have to throw a video up here soon but I just wanted to get dirty and I, I tried oil pastels and I'm going to go ahead and try regular soft dusty pastels very soon. So here we are, we're all done. I'm doing my lovely oh so satisfying tape pull and I think it looks great in the end. It's just a fun little smash of different colors and this is really a particularly quick page because I didn't let myself worry about perfect lines and perfect spacing. Um, you take a little while if you use acrylic wash or gouache to let the paint dry before you erase. I got some paint on my eraser. I had to wait, wait a bit before I tried again. And here you go. Don't feel like you need to put your lines where I put my lines. You could also just do stripes across the page. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. As always, this is just a prompt to get you in your sketchbook and for you to do whatever you want. So next you'll see my second page and I'm going to go ahead and let you enjoy the, the tape pull with me. I started with one little circle. You might be able to see it in pencil after I pull the tape off. It goes off the edge of the page. And I just followed the shape with different colors. And I like working with brighter to lighter values of each color. I think it adds a lot of interest. And I like how the colors are complementary in some places. And here you are. If you look through Alma's paintings, you'll see this kind of resembles one of hers as well. So thank you for so much for joining me again. I hope you had fun. And if you get to a museum and you see anything interesting, please let me know in the comments below. I am on a mission to visit a lot of museums this year. So take care and have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon.